Alright, so welcome back to the free to play walkthrough. Last time we uh, got the breakfast wall done, this section here, and now we're on this little bit here, the secret cave. Now, to start off this part, as per usual, uh, we're gonna grab Twilly again. I like to make it a regular thing. Okay. I like to make it a regular thing just so I remember to get him. He's really useful, Pat. Uh, and we're gonna go back to him really quick. What is the matter with me? <laughs> Alright, so the secret cave. Uh, before we start, if anyone wants to join the Discord, there's a link in the description. If you need any help with anything, or you just want to stop by for a chat, it's down there for you. Um, so, the secret cave. Now, this is where we get to pick our dragon egg. So, um, this is kind of like a little weird thing. For us, this is completely pointless because we are a free-to-play account. So we don't even get to really use our dragon anywhere. Um, maybe some quests you do because there is certain like missions where you just have to use your dragon and like even a non-dragon amulet player can use it. Now what each egg does, it'll probably be here but I'm not going to read it. <laughs> um, each egg... Are you, are you, are you, okay, thank you. You have um, 61 outdated drivers apparently. Can you... Can you can you leave me alone? What I was saying before I was interrupted by that shit. Um, each dragon egg enables like an ability on the dragon. Now, the only time this ability is actually ever used is when you're doing your big dragon fights and you press the normal attack button. It has like an on attack special and each egg has its own unique ability. Now, most of these abilities are kind of the same, and they're kind of shit anyway, so there's not really much point of them. And when you're doing a big dragon fight, you're barely using your abilities anyway, so I'm just going to click a random egg. Um, You guys can look into it if you'd like. Other than that, though, I would just highly recommend you pick an egg that you like the look of. <laughs> it's what I do all the time. Uh, but I don't really care right now, so I'm just going to leave it as this one. Confirm. And then, once you've done that, we can just leave. So, um, down here, um, go to Twilly again. We have the Hatching of Lady Celestia now. There was like a little bit of a quest in between. So we're going to go to the Orb Saga, Timeline again, and let's go to the Arachna attack. Um, this is like a... Well, okay, so we have a website, it's Dragon Amulet, uh, to war. Now, you don't have to do this, but, um, for the sake of the video, we're gonna cover, like, we're gonna just cover it, it's in between. So, basically, what this quest is about, and um, the Dragon Egg was, like, well, it wasn't really stolen. It went missing because, um, these, like, spider things, um, dug under the egg and it fell down the hole or something like that, I can't remember. But, um, yeah. Oh, that case with a website is not actually a website, it's a quest. Where you've just got to kill loads of, like, um, case weavers. Like, the big spiders. So, yeah, if, if you're wondering, that's what it is. Uh, Twilly's not actually doing any damage. But that's okay, because he can still heal us. So, um... We can still attack with him. It doesn't really do anything, but he can still heal. So, um, not too bad, I guess. Okay, so we've done all our, um, well, we, d we killed all the enemies in that wave. Uh, keep this and we'll sell it. Um, one thing I, well, a couple of things I forgot to mention. Uh, this video we're going to be covering a, s like, a select few things. So, the Secret Cave, a regular attack catching. Uh, we're going to be doing the Willowshire Burns and the Haunted House quest. And then, if we have time, if the video is not too long, we'll go for the Beach Evasion and the Vampire Tower and the War at Sea. Um, just covering up some of the small stuff before we get into the bigger stuff. Uh, another thing as well, I forgot to go um, level up at the end of last video. Um, so we'll go do that right now. Um, start trainer. Um... We're getting a good amount of stuff in here, like Endurance and Wisdom. I'm going to keep going for Endurance, and um, I, keep, I keep saying this, but eventually we're going to go for some Strength. 
Because right now we're at a very easy point in the game, regardless. So um, we're not needing too much extra damage. Um, but yeah. Alright, so we'll go back to the Arachna attack. And uh, fight the boss monster. Yeah, big Spider-Man, sir. Okay, so inspecting this guy. He has quite a lot of HP. Almost 600. So, um, yeah, quite a lot. Uh, we can't really stun him. We have like a 50-50 chance. Which is not ideal. Um, Twilly cannot even damage him. But he can still heal us, so we'll keep him. Um, so, we're going to go our regular war cry and then shield. Um, Twilly, do your stuff. Pretty much useless for damage, but that's okay, we don't need him for damage. Um, there you go, we got a 70% damage buff. And then, we go for a double. And then our triple. Okay, so we can't really stun this guy, but we can try it anyway. You have a 50% chance. Okay, so we, we did not get it. Quite sad, but that's okay. Uh, we don't really need it. Um, I'm guessing right now we, we might as well just go for another war cry and shield. These um, abilities uh, refresh quite quick. So um, it's always a really good idea to just to keep them up constantly. Very powerful. Uh, right now we'll go for a power attack. And then we can buff and shield. But this guy's got such a small amount of health left. Ask it, we'll, we'll buff and shield. Might as well. It's good practice to always remember to keep it up. It's what makes the warrior like so good. Because the, the two buff attacks last like three turns to get back. It's amazing. Like three turns there and four turns there. So good. Yeah, we'd, we'd destroyed this guy pretty easily. Uh, Twilly did heal us a few times, so we, we might have died if it wasn't for Twilly. Maybe. I don't think so, because we can always push him. But yeah, that was okay. I am just going to quickly go sell these uh, ticket stubs really quick. Um, We have two. Sell, 50 gold. Might as well. And another 50. Alright, so after that, we're going to head back on over to Twilly and get to the hatching. Which is, uh, well, the hatching of our egg. Alright, so after that cutscene, I did cut mine out, but you can obviously watch ours. Uh, basically, Sepulcher got the good dragon and we got the bad dragon. But then Sepulcher made his into the bad dragon. And obviously, we're not bad, so we're going to make ours good. It's kind of confusing, but it makes sense. Um, so up next we get to decide what we're going to do now. Um, for Dragon Amulet players, going to Lady Celestia would be the next um, step. Um, the main step in the story is to go to here, just to travel around with our dragon, that's the idea. But um, we are going to go to Lady Celestia really quick. Even though none of this stuff really makes a difference to us. Because it's free to play. Uh, but right here we have um, loads of stuff. So um, Dragon Lord is a Dragon Amulet class. Um, we can't get this. Primal Dragon Skittles, we unlock that later. Other quests, um, we have like some dragon based quests. Which I'm not really going to go through. Uh, dragon Rider is our um, training for our dragon. Dragon Arena is just like a little battle. And um, dragon training, each time you complete this, uh, your dragon will unlock a new skill. Um, but these skills you can only lock at a certain level of your character. I think the last skill unlocks a level 17 or something like that. Um, but we can do this. Um, Titans of Battleon, I don't really know what that is, but baby dragon quest and training, we can. Um, obviously feed our dragon stuff, but we can do that down here anyway. Um, dragon quests are just little basic quests. Uh, train, grow dragon I mean, sorry. Is, uh, if you pay about 10,000 gold, um, your dragon will sort of grow into a toddler dragon. 
which makes it generally better over like its damage and stuff. But it also makes it so you can use it as a guest instead of just a pet. Uh, you get the choice between a pet or a guest. Um, so what a guest means is basically a companion that will have its own HP bar and everything. It can be quite useful um, if you want to get just like an extra ally. Um, but either that we can't really do much on here so we're just going to go back to the um, timeline. I guess do Willowshire Burns. So um, now that your dragon is hatched, it's time to explore. So we're going to go to Willowshire. Uh, we have heard that a dragon is attacking the town, I guess. And so what we do here is the dragon, the mission, I mean, is to fight the dragon and the Dravia Siege is to just fight the enemies before you do the mission. So you can do all these and I think team up and um, add these guys to your party. Which we don't need because they're kind of shit anyway. Uh, Dragon I think is dialogue. Yes it is. Um, you can read that if you'd like but I'm not too fussed about that right now. Uh, Dravia Siege is what we're going to want to do. Um, except the mission. Now there is a boss battle in here somewhere. One of these guys, the Dravias, are a boss. Um, it's kind of random which one you get, but when you do kill the boss, it will complete the quest. Uh, these guys are already weak, so we're just going to multi them. But yeah, we're going to find find that boss. Alright, so we found the boss. Uh, it was the very last one here. I don't know if it has to be that one, but I'm not sure. Uh, so we've done this, we've got a massive chunk of XP, uh, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, we're kind of done here, apart from the boss. Um, so the boss got a mission, and we're gonna fight the boss. So um, go to things on that. This guy is pretty powerful. He has a lot of HP. Um, but he's weak to energy and fire. So our tear jings does twenty percent more damage, which is pretty nice. He's resistant to stun by fifty, so you'll do half the damage. So don't use stun. Um, and we have fifty percent chance to stun him. So um. Keep that in mind, we'll do our usual uh, like war cry and shield. It'll probably take us quite a while to kill this guy, but he's not that powerful in damage. Um, 33 there, but I think he does. Okay, so he does 38 damage max, which is not too bad. He's not, he's not really powerful. And uh, now one thing to note, if you guys are having trouble with this fight, which you might, um, you can go grab like Valencia or maybe Artix as a companion. I mean, we've not seen Artix yet, but um, Valencia really help, really helpful. I don't recommend Ash or Rubina because they do like, I think they do less damage than Twilly. <laughs> so um, maybe not those, but you can if you want. Um, just keep that in mind. But Twilly is awesome and he's just gonna heal us constantly, so um, we should be fine. Uh, we should be fine. The more HP you have, the more um, survivability and the more health totally heals us. So, um, you know, we're, we're quite tanky. Alright, so that was quite an easy fight to the end of the day. It just took quite a while for us to kill it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're done. So, um, now where this is going to put us next, I know it's kind of weird, but it'll, this guy will say, right fortune. Now, this is a part of the later game if I'm just gonna quickly go through um that bit is part of this here well let's show you burns so um the Gorgot quest we just did is kind of like the opening to the later game Aethorb saga and uh, which is like the second to last section of the game so um don't do this um a big mistake I made in my original let's play was that I I did this really early because I thought I had to for some reason because I was confused about how the timeline worked. Uh, but right now we're going to go to Amityville in the Haunted House. Alright, so we're going to go over to Thursday now. Thursday does have a quest line. But um, the only one that we need to do is the Haunted House. Now these are completely optional and they're not even part of the main game. Um, the bit that we're covering is a Haunted House. Uh, this is the past only part of the main story. 
So all we're going to be doing is the haunted house quest. Uh, we're going to say not all of this, but you can do it if you want to. Uh, haunted house, and then I'm just going to skip it. Start the quest. So um, what we have to do in this quest here, we have to get through and kill all the ghosts. Now um, to do this, we'll just well we have to kill the ghosts. <laughs> And I think they are pretty powerful, so maybe be careful. We just got a massive crit, so we just destroyed that guy, but um I think these guys do quite a lot of damage. We'll just test it. How much damage do you do, my friend? Okay, never mind. I thought they were much stronger than what they were. Unless that was a weak attack. No, it wasn't. Okay. These guys are pretty easy then. I thought they were a lot harder. Uh, these are a couple of, like, there's like three boss battles in this quest. All of them are pretty easy, but um, you know, it's just something to note, I guess. Three boss battles. Um, okay, that hurts a lot more actually. So yeah, these guys are not too bad actually. So um, can we stun them? I don't even know. But either way, outside here, um, this thing is useless. I always thought we had to pick it up. Um, we have to fight this guy. Um, big like seed man, seed spitter. He has no resistances or anything, so it's quite an easy fight. So we'll just um take him out really quick. Okay, so that guy's dead. Got a key for a doll, which we need. Uh, we're gonna go back uh, here. Um, I thought that was something in there, but never mind. Uh, these are healing pad, or well, healing candle thing. Um, so we are running a on HP, but. Um, we can heal. Um, well, these guys are weak to light by 20. And they are resistant to darkness. Um, but we can stun them. So um, just in case that you are taking a bit of a beating. Uh, you just stun them. The easiest thing. Okay so we have two different pathways. Uh, we're going to go down really quick. Because this thing's here. Which is like a full heal. Awesome. Drinking candle wax. Uh, we have to get the birth keys to um, get in here. So um, the next boss we have to kill is upstairs. There's a couple more ghosts so we'll just take those out really quick. Okay so the second boss of the quest is this guy here. I do believe this guy is a little bit harder than the plant. Um, yeah he's a lot stronger. That's quite a lot of damage. Uh, but if we just go walk around shield. We're only going to really take like one hit before we kill him. Um, let's see how much she does. Wow. Okay, that hurt quite a lot, my friend. I mean, you did crit. So, um, I can't really be too surprised. But, um, yeah. So, this guy's not too mess with. But if you stun him or shield, you'll be able to take him out without even taking a hit. So, um, oh, 23 damage. Damn, Twilly. Alright, so we'll drink some more candle wax and then we'll go inside here. And uh, Nightshade is the thing that's been haunting Thursday's house. Uh, this boss has quite a lot of HP, but again, it has um, quite easy resistances and um, not very good damage. So, um, you know, same old stuff. <laughs> okay, so that guy's defeated. And uh, we got Thursday's pendant. Now um, we can trade this for some quest items, um, so we got to shop, uh, helms, Thursday's dragon hat, so if you have an amulet you can get that one. Um, Thursday's pendant uh, gives us charisma plus one, it looks stupid and it's kind of shit, so um, I don't really recommend us getting any of these, um, I mean you might as well just because you know it's there. Three resistant to darkness isn't terrible I guess. Um, two resistant to darkness, not terrible. Not that good though. Um, let's just grab what are the necklace is like. Let's just get this. Okay. It doesn't really matter what we get. Uh, we haven't got a necklace so might as well. Okay so that's all I'm going to be doing for today. It, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but uh, next time we'll do the beach invasion, the vampire tat on the war at sea. And then after that we'll start doing this stuff. Um, so next episode might be a little short, but this episode would have been far too long. 
if I did all of this. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.